Hey everybody, this is Big D here again. So glad you could join me back on my Dolphins channel. Um, it has been an interesting off season. And as I got ready to record this today, I was thinking about what should I, what should I talk about? There's like so much going on in Miami Dolphins world. And I thought, well, you know what? Let's do a little bit of a, a 2022 early outlook on what I think is a lifelong Dolphins fan, is one that has followed Miami since 1978 when I first went to the Orange Bowl and saw Bob Greasy uh, beat the Jets. Um, I have been hooked and been a Dolphins fan ever since. And obviously, uh, growing up in the late 70s, or you know, during the 80s as well, um, was a much different Dolphins time than it is today. Um, but I have continued to be a fan, will always be a fan, and always support my fans. So you might say, well, what, what's your outlook? Well, my looks, you know, you're always hesitant, right? Because the Dolphins always seem to like tease us with these free agent pickups and a new coach and a new philosophy and da da da. But I, I think overall, we've all become kind of gun shy, right? Um, gun shy of, of just, you know, them letting us down. You know, Finn fans have been let down for so many years. Um, but this year is going to be different. I'm going to tell you why. I think that I have not seen this level of what I'm going to talk about since the mid 80s. Now, you might say, well, the Dolphins are going to be really good because they finally addressed the offensive line. They have still a work to do there. I still think we need a little bit of adjustment on right tackle, right guard, even center. But the pickups that we've had on the line, 100% better already. Um, obviously the pickup of Hill on the outside is giving, you know, giving us a, a long game that we haven't had getting rid of Parker. Um, it's a shame that we had to get rid of him. It's a shame that he couldn't stay healthy because I still feel like he's got the potential to be one of the best in the league, but, um, I don't think overall he's going to be that missed. So you might say, and then on defense, you know, we, we, we re-signed Howard to basically a lifetime contract with Miami. Um, we re-signed Ugba. I'm probably butchering his name, but you know what I mean? Um, we took care of our own players. Um, you, you could attribute all of what I think is going to be a really successful 22, 2022 for the Miami Dolphins. But there's one thing that's different. And this is why I think more than any other reason that the Dolphins are going to do very well. And I'll tell you just how well at the end of this video. So stick with me. The energy and the attitude so far that's coming out of that Dolphins organization is something that I have not seen since Marino took the team to the Super Bowl in 1984 was the last time. My gosh, that seems like forever ago. Some of you that are watching this weren't even born when that happened. I know, obviously, my kids have never got to experience it, and I've surely forgotten what it feels like, but... The energy that Coach McDaniel has brought into this organization is something like I have not seen in years. And, you know, a lot of people, including myself, thought that Greer was the problem, that he didn't know good talent. He held us back. But I think this year is showing that that's, that's not true. I think all along it's been the power struggle between Greer and the, whoever the head coach is at the time and dealing with their egos and McDaniel brings this energy and this relationship building with players and the people in the upper parts of the organization like I haven't seen in years. So I think that that alone, not alone, that coupled with the moves that they've made, and I still feel like we have more moves to go. I think a lot of moves can't be made till after June 1st because of salary kit cap hits and the way contracts are are structured typically sometimes you will see even more moves made after june 1st because of that so i i don't think we're done obviously the draft is pretty much a wash unless we get really weird and trade for some more picks but i don't see that happening um i see that miami is going to stick with what they got and next year they've got like 85 picks so if something catastrophic happens this year um, I think we're good. But now, my final outlook. I really feel 
and hold me to this, I really feel like the Dolphins, barring any catastrophic injury problems, and it's it being that it's only April, I'm going out on a limb to say this, but I, I seriously feel like the Dolphins at the end of 2022 will be AFC East champions. I think that they are finally being built to deal with teams like Buffalo, um, which has always been Miami's problem. We've never been physical enough, and we've surely never been fast enough. And I think we're solving those problems. So my prediction, my early outlook, and this could change um, because, you know, things in the NFL do change. I feel like because of the energy that the coach has brought, the passion that you're seeing from the players, Howard came out the other day and said the, he's never seen energy like this before in the building and, and, and a positive influence. And players feed off of that. You know, it's a little more in college and high school where sometimes that can overweigh the talent. In the NFL, you need both. You need talent, obviously, but you also need energy and you need commitment and you need passion because that drives all of the talent. So, Barring any catastrophic problems, I feel that the Dolphins will win the AFC East. I think it will be hot, hard fought. I think it will be a 12 and 5, 13 and 4 record. And I think that the Dolphins will make it past the first round of the playoffs. I don't think that they're ready to contend with, for a Super Bowl title this year. Um, I think that they will find some struggles in the playoffs only from a lack of experience. Um, and I think next year, if they, we can keep our team intact, if uh, Tua does what I know he's going to do, and he's going to ball out and prove all of these naysayers wrong, um, I feel like the Dolphins, by the end of 2023, will be holding up that, holding up that championship trophy. So anyway, that's my outlook. I feel that between the talent we've picked up, the energy that the coach is bringing, that we will um, most certainly win our division. It's not going to be easy. I think it may, may even come down to the last game. But I feel like the Dolphins will win the AFC East. They will win a home playoff game and uh, possibly struggle depending on, you know, because the wild cards are so weird now. Um, they will either um, lose in the division round or lose in the AFC title game. But that's my early outlook. What do you think? I'd love to hear from you below. Um, this channel is pretty new, so if you could hit the like button, um, hit the subscribe button, you have to hit it twice because the first time is to subscribe and then the second time is so you can get notifications. If you could do that and then share it with others to help build the community as we get closer and closer to opening day 2022, that would be great. And I'd love to hear from you. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Do I, am, I, am I wrong here? Am I just a, a diehard hopeful fan? Um, let me know. Let me know what you think. So that said, everybody have a great day. Again, this is Big D. Glad you could join me and fins up. See you next time.